it's now possible from Revit 2022 onwards to tag multiple elements with a single tag. Here I have a simple office building with a number of desk elements and some shelving units, all tagged with a tag, picking up the type mark for each particular object. Obviously this is quite a clustered view with the same number of tags as there are number of elements in the view. If I select these three tags and delete them, I can select on this tag here and in the ribbon I can now select the add or remove host tool. Once activated the model or model element that is tagged currently is highlighted and I can then hover over and add additional model elements that will be hosted to this particular tag. I can then go and adjust the leader positions like so. So I now end up with one tag tagging all four elements. If I select the tag and select add or remove host, I can remove a host by selecting over the highlighted element. But if I add a, another element that has a different property, such as the type mark, I then get a output or value in the tag that reads varies, indicating that the property that I am tagging between these two elements is different. I can then simply remove this element again and the value is displayed correctly because these four elements all share the same type mark value. Here. It is also possible to indicate the number of elements that this tag is hosted to. If I select the tag and select Edit Family, I'll zoom in and select the label, which if I select Edit Label on the ribbon, shows that I have the type mark as the singular label parameter. In the drop-down for category parameters, I can select multi-leader tag, and there is a parameter called host count that I'm going to add to my label parameters, and I'll move it to the top. And I'll give a sample value of, say, 2. And I'll add a suffix with the x for times. Click OK. I can see the updated sample appearing in the family. If I then load into project and overwrite, I can now see that the number of elements that are hosted to this tag is displayed in the tag. If I were to remove one of the elements, the number is updated to reflect the updated number of elements that are hosted. Just to demonstrate again, if I select this tag for the shelving and delete, select the tag, select add remove host, and when I add the second element, the host count value appears in the tag. So this is a potential way to 
reduce the number of annotation or tag elements within your Revit views.